intense. That is the only suitable word I can use to describe our first stint as part of a package of 40 aircraft, all crossing the front line to hit the simulated Russian where it hurt. It was a wholly different experience from when you casually do evolutions or exercises, or even fire weapons at a target range. Everything is treated as the real deal, from the comms traffic, to the flights around you, to the incoming warnings from enemy radars, too many to keep track of. A missile could have come from any part of my front quarter. And the fear about screwing up, well, that's real. So far, nobody in the squadron, nor command, has mentioned the Taiwan target foul-up yesterday. I tried approaching the subject with my commander, but he said it was enough that I was striving to do better, and that it did not affect the mission, and I improvised well by switching the waypoint to arrive at the target quicker. Intelligence reports that we have the Russians on the back foot. They expected our support to Ukraine to be wholly defensive, and anything on their side of the FIBA would not be hit. Our task today is to make sure they understand it was not a fluke, nor a one-time event. Even better, our Eagle drivers confirmed six fulcrums and two flankers splashed. A B-52 will start off the party with a salvo of cruise missiles to degrade an enemy SA-10 site, then we fast movers go in. Springfield flight will hit the remaining enemy air defense sites while we vegans go for the main target, enemy airfields. Not the actual ones, mind you, we can't fly into the container or hit the actual red air airfields. They built up realistic replicas for us to drop bombs on and drop bombs we will do. We have a time frame of 10 minutes to hit our target, so time on target is less important today. But I have every intention to make up for my mistake yesterday. I will try to arrive at the target exactly when we are supposed to. Engine is cooling up. We set the U-22 pod to warm up. And then we'll wait for the control calculator to the hood to get going. We'll set our bombs. Early and now we wait. We have plenty of time while the Springfield flight uh, gets airborne, so we will taxi out after Dodge 2 flight and we will may we, we won't have much of a rush really. Conference has been loaded. Waypoint 5 is set at the target waypoint. We have set our time on target for waypoint 5. We will, however, not set any speed for. Uh, Waypoint 4, rather, we are gonna leave that to uh, the system and depending on what uh, speed we use for the rest of the uh, approach. So, now it's just hurry up and wait for the order. Alright, I can see Dodge 2 is lining up to uh, take off there. We can get going right now, Dodge 1. Copy now, let's control.
Copy, Melis. Holding short. Uh, that one affirms. I'll just wait for parts of my flight group to catch up. All right, Dodge one element. After takeoff, we will assume a trail formation and head to waypoint three. Rotate. Wheels up. Now let's control dot one airborne. Copy that command, dodge flights will push west. Uh, dodge one, stay in this uh, lazy circle until we come up towards uh, waypoint two. Uh, when we are at waypoint two, we will proceed into the target area. Hold out one element, that pod to active jamming. Dodge one, passing Irish. One passing the farms. Uh, Dodge two, you are currently over the farm. Be aware of the man pad. All right, Dodge one. Party at one is RTP. That means the party has officially started. Following the next ridge line, we go to low level and continue with Nap of the Earth tactic. Alright, Dodge One, it's time to play how low can you go? Let's show these Americans how you fly low. I mean, it's gonna be easier than usual, there's no force to speak up around here. Let's go. Avoid using your burners, uh, we want Springfield to keep clearing uh, the stamps around the target before we arrive. 
There's no use arriving early. Alright, listen in. We're closing in on the target. Prepare to break and engage. Uh, once we do that, uh, full speed, make sure you hit the target and get out. Camera message on and jamming pod on from this moment onward. At bullseye, one, nine, three, Good job, Springfield. We're gonna need you to keep that up. Let's do it. Dodge 2, passing port side. Counter missiles engaged. Zero kilometers to target. Ten kilometers and counting. Target should be just ahead. Affirm. Target is dead ahead. Moving in. Dodge one. Bumps away. Dodge what? We're heading out. Go to zone one and evacuate the area as soon as your load is away. We'll rendezvous at waypoint six at the latest. Dodge two. Running in from east. Good luck, Dodge two. Back click, we are heading out. Copy, runway 21, wind is uh, 7 meters per second.
Well, that was hectic, and the only thing I heard from the mission commander when I got back was, hey, at least you are consistent. There is, of course, a lot more detail into that than you might expect. We hit the target. We didn't lose, as far as I know, any aircraft. We got back to base all right. Uh, the approach to the target was uh, pretty good, even though our escorting Springfield flights took heavy casualties from the enemy SA-10 and SA-15 batteries. But guess what? I wasn't late. I was early. Way early. Now, this doesn't actually matter. Not all that much, at the very least. Because we got the bombs on the target. And we got out. With Springfield having disabled the same. So... Our window was open, so to speak, but it wasn't the window that had been planned for. And I suppose that's why they say I'm consistent.